Uh, very good afternoon, everybody. Uh, one of the endeavors that Bell Williams has been that we should make insurance simple to everybody. And that is why we started this demystified insurance uh, series. Uh, this would be the fourth in line. Uh, but the interesting thing is when I look at my plan and I look at myself also, I think we spend a lot of time trying to understand what is the best investment that we should put our money in. And that would give us about 8 to 9 percent return. Then we spend a lot of time to see how do we save tax, what are the best policies to buy for that. That will also give us some protection. But something which has the potential to wipe out our earning of at least 10 to years, on that we don't spend much time. And it is not that well, there's something wrong. I think across the country or to some part of the world, we don't spend enough time in understanding insurance. Insurance, again, if I look at the documents, it's just about two or three page contract. Please, simple to understand. Though, if I look at the old contracts, it's pretty complicated because we use the legal words for which had, uh, in fact, to understand that, to read the paragraph at least two, three times. But the industry as a whole has now pretty well simplified the things and the covers and what is covered or not covered. But when it comes to a claim or a customer expectations, at time I see this is a miss. Uh, at times this happens because we have not gone through those two page documents. This is our responsibility to ensure that as customers you understand what you are buying. But as customer also, something which you are buying or investing in which is going to save or be of help to you in times of need is very critical to understand as well. As well as it's an endeavor to ensure that we can demystify the insurance to you. Today, the topic is health. Health in the past six, seven years has been the fastest growing segment in the insurance industry in India. It has a CAJR over 25%. In fact, potentially in 10 years' time, health would be bigger than motor in terms of insurance. But even now, if you look at the penetration of health insurance in India, it is just about 10% of people who can afford health insurance. In the lower state of the society, in fact, it's better because the government schemes is over 40%. But in the middle class and the upper middle class and the HNI segment, it's very low. It's about just 3 to 4%. Surprising, uh, seeing the fact that if you look at uh, hospitals where the billing happens, you have 80% people who don't have health cover. And out of them, 30-40% are selling the jewelries to pay off. Not a very good sign. So I'm looking forward to a good interaction. I have a panel experts with me, whom I introduce now, and we are all there to help you understand health insurance better. To begin with, I'd like to introduce first Mr. Bomi Rote, who is the CEO of uh, Grant Medical Foundation and the Ruby Water Clinic. Now, for those of you who are from Pune and surrounding areas, you know how famous the Ruby Hospital is, one of the leading hospitals in this area. And for those of you across the world, this is one hospital which has built a benchmark in terms of service to customers in terms of bringing new technology for treatment and its respected name in the industry of healthcare. But more than that, uh, the best part of life is, if I look at Mr. Gomez Gote, he's one person who's been awarded by two presidents of India, uh, right from Mr. Abdul Kalam to Ms. Pratibha Patil. Mr. Bhumi Bhote, it's such a pleasure to have you with us. And how did it feel to be awarded by two presidents of India? I think you'll be one of the rare people who will be having this distinction in the country. Thank you very much. Thank you. And welcome to all the other members of the panel. It's indeed a pleasure to interact with all of you. And this is, in fact, been one of my favorite subjects. How do we extend healthcare to the last person living in our city? And the answer is purely insurance. I mean, we cannot depend on the government. We cannot depend on subsidies from the corporation, things like that. But we have to figure out a way of extending insurance to the last guy, finding ways and means of getting every single person to get a cover done. So I would welcome this panel discussion and I would really be interested in coming out with solutions and suggestions which will help people like you all to reach out to the last individual in, in every city. Mr. Bhutu, we share your passion and I love to hear this because this is a dream for me too 
I believe that as an insurance professional, I have failed to like increase the penetration of health insurance in my country and increase it to a level where I don't see people selling jewelries or land to pay off hospital bills. You know, if anything else will compromise. We can you know, minimize the food also or, or the way we live. But when it comes to medical uh, expense for our loved ones, and that is one point time we don't want to compromise, but then the best should be provided with them. And we don't have a good health cover, can be very, very, um, in terms of uh, monetary loss, a huge loss. And uh, I know people who uh, who had cancer in my own family, and the entire cost of that was 40 lakhs. And you can imagine for a middle class family to share up 40 lakh rupees would mean what? And after the entire struggle, because it did not save the boy, but that was one day when I realized that as an insurance profession, I have to ensure that such things should not happen in any other family. We should have a good health cover for everybody. So I share the passion of uh, Mr. Bote and it's close to my heart. I move on to uh, the king, the king for us, uh, Mr. Uday Shashi Kumar Nair. Uh, first and foremost, he, I, I say the king for us because he's my customer. And to me, all the customers are kings and the most beloved not designation that they can have. But in addition to this, is also the head for Asia Pacific uh, Sales Prospectum Corporation. That is sounds interesting, but more than that, the guy gets his passion for cooking, his passion for photography, and avid traveler. How do you do all this, uh, Shashi Kumar? It's very, very impressive, and so good to have you here with us. Sure, thank you very much. Uh, first of all, I like the way you introduce me. Customer is the king. Uh, this is, uh, you know, I can, as I can say, it's a very cliched line which many uh, brands use, but uh, I think this is the first time where, uh, you know, I've been invited in any of the customer interactions program. So hats off to the marketing team as well as all the team in Bajaj Alliance who have actually uh, made this possible. Uh, I'm a customer of, uh, you know, Bajaj Alliance, not just by paying the premiums, but I have got, you know, very good experience uh, when actually, you know, when the health issue is actually needed, that is uh, during the claims process. So you can say I'm a very satisfied customer of Bajaj Alliance, and I've been with you for around five years now. Uh, to my uh, advisor, Mr. Sachin, uh, just to show, you know, just to give you an idea about how a normal uh, business relation matures, is uh, Sachin came to me as a advisor for health insurance but now he's in my friend list so that goes to show uh, you know how strong uh, your people have been in creating the uh, relations so from customer's perspective i would like to give you hats off for that and uh, hopefully you will continue this to the rest of the customers also and uh, continue to serve the people here uh, it's a pleasure being here and uh, i'm a sales guy so, you know, it's in my blood to do a lot of things. So, photography, cooking are some of the therapeutic things which I do uh, to make myself calm. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm uh, happy to be here in the panel with, uh, you know, a lot of uh, dignity, dignity around here. Uh, once again, thank you very much for uh, calling me in. And uh, if anyone is having any questions regarding from the customer perspective, I'll be very happy to answer them. Thank you, Chris. And uh, if you watch, if I put in the Indian perspective, we have about 6.5 uh, kings, queens, emperors, and first for us in our books. That is the number of customers we have currently. And we have about 11,000 sessions who are ready to go out and make it convenient for you as brand as a company. And that's why we move to Sachin next. Sachin is our uh, advisor. Uh, he, he, he is very closely associated with Brother Lians. I think he he owns the brand more than anybody else I have seen and he is so passionate about the company and about the products. And for those of you who have a small background, he actually belongs to a business family and he started the insurance as a part time just to see if he supplement some of for his pocket money. But he loved it so much that now this is his full time occupation and he is widely respected in the industry and the passion he has for insurance is something which I like because insurance to me not only about business, but about social cause also. Because when you give claims, and for those of you who don't agree with the statement, please join me at times when we give claims to people who have misfortune, and you see the way they bless us for providing service. I think for that day, I do my work and my living to see 
how much and how many people can we help? Sachin, over to you. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, so firstly, thank you for inviting me. Uh, the people like Vijay are uh, customers, but uh, for me, this is close to my heart. You know? Actually, while doing business, I earn money. Uh, but by doing and so on, and that is for your balance. Uh, I've met two friends for life, uh, which we have shared some good bad moments with each other. And uh, it's basically feeling too hard. You know? like, uh, business is basically uh, building in money, but here we build relationships. That's what I love about Now I move over to someone uh, who has been in, in journalism for the past uh, 10 years and to those uh, who do not know this, one of my uh, dreams was to become a journalist uh, and that's why when I try to be journalist I feel uh, very happy about it because I think that is something which I always want to do. And when I was writing for my college uh, uh, magazines, uh, the only dream I had was to become a journalist and bring out news and be in, in the newspaper and write about what can be done. But obviously, that one dream of mine I could not fulfill, but does not mean I could fulfill. So, Aparna, after I die, I still enter into the journalist world. But I admire all of you who do this, who bring the news to every person in India. We talk about things which are fast breaking and make a big difference to the uh, Indian thought process. Uh, I have seen that you have been working into the financial sector for quite some time and expert in these fields. We are so delighted to have you here in the panel. Uh, welcome, Aparna. Yeah, thank you so much and a warm welcome to you all. It's nice to be part of this distinguished panel and I thank you for giving this opportunity. And uh, I like to add on to what uh, you and the other panelists that I think health insurance today is at a tipping point and uh, the regulator has already initiated in terms of setting up a hospital registry and I think that was much needed. There was a certain delay in that. The push has come from insurers who are battling you know, high claims ratio but I think that is the first step. It will ultimately benefit customers also you know, because you are going to have a gradation of hospitals and you know, price band for common surgeries and procedures uh, and that's very important because medical emergencies come unannounced and uh, like a friend you know whose father recently underwent a heart attack you know she just said if he sees the bill he'll get another attack so you know yeah jokes apart but I think it does show the seriousness and you know customers ultimately should know what they are in for how much they are going to price there will be of course some plus and minus it's here and there, but I think uh, we are at an interesting stage. Also, in terms of new products, you know, uh, you talked about HNI and all that. I think some of it is also beginning to happen in terms of higher sum insured. So I think we are at an interesting stage. Thank you. Aparna, uh, my statement was right. And the in-depth knowledge that you have about what's happening in the insurance field and health is amazing. I think yes, uh, we are very happy with the regulator. I think. Happy for two reasons. If I look at the first approvals have been pretty good now, and uh, if I look at our product that have got approved recently, now covers the HMI also and it covers specific plans of surgery, and the entire gamut of it has been going good. And I'm also happy about the statement that you made in terms of health insurance being something which is very critical and crucial to look at it because people like you spread the message which becomes very critical for the industry as a whole. So thank you for that, Parna. I now move on to uh, my own team and first one that is uh, Suresh. Suresh Uganathan, he has been with us from inception and uh, currently he heads our health uh, for the uh, company. In his tenure, the health portfolio for the company has moved up very well. In fact, he would be handling huge number of lives and giving service to them. And not because he is on screen, but uh, I am happy to announce that we look at the NPS score all the customer feedback, uh, Bajaj Alliance Health Department is rated as one of the best in terms of servicing to the customer, which gives me immense pride. And Suresh Shuganathan is the man behind this. Very happy to have you here, Suresh. Thank you, sir. And uh, good morning, sorry, good afternoon to all the other panel members. Yes, health insurance is 
no more at a crossroad. Like what we used to say, health was never a priority in the initial days. To look at the numbers. Now today, the awareness has gone up, and precisely that is the reason why we all are here discussing and trying to demystify this particular insurance line. As far as the customer is concerned, for us at Bajaj Alliance, as a team, we have always tried to connect with the customers emotionally. And we always believe that we, we are not doing it. That emotional touch, then health insurance, we are not addressing the real or core issues. So we have been able to do it, we'll try to improve it further based on the feedback we continuously take from our customers, receive from our customers and IMBs. And even in this during the course of this discussion, I'm sure that we'll get more suggestions which we would like to build in, in our products, our processes, and also the customer service and the grievance handling process what we follow here in our organization. Thank you once again for the insight what we received from the other panel members. The more which we will be receiving now. Thank you. Good, Suresh. And now I move on to the person on my right. Uh, right is just incidental, though he is also my right hand, I would say. The CTO of the company, uh, Ramalingam, is also rated as the best underwriter in the insurance industry. He has been instrumental in providing this backup for the best products that we have. Than writing that we have, and upon now we do know rare companies which would still be making uh, money in the health insurance and also uh, capturing good market share. The times the value for money and the delivery does make a big difference. So the man who does this all, Rama. Thank you, Dapan, and uh, uh, one uh, good afternoon to all the panelists. I'm uh, sure that uh, as we go forward during the course of the day, we'll have very interesting uh, questions coming up. For us, uh, health is a very uh, important line of business. Uh, as in the last five years, as Stefan said, the growth has been phenomenal there. The issue with health has always been uh, more emotional, how we handle the, the cashless requests, how we handle the claims. There is much more emotional connect related to health. And our endeavor is to ensure that the customer gets the best service, he is satisfied at the end of the, end of the day, and we contribute to him in whatever way we can do, so that in case of any crisis, his sufferings are reduced to the greatest extent. We, uh, our endeavor is to ensure that at the end of the, end of the day, the customers do propagate our policies by word of mouth to other customers, and we are able to grow this line of business in a much bigger way. And uh, if you look at our uh, uh, track record for the last couple of years, we have been doing well, and uh, with the support of every one of you, I think we should be able to be better. Thank you. So we will start with a couple of questions which come on the screen and then I move to the panel and ask them for their queries and questions or what is their opinion and then uh, we look at it. First, I see from Brijesh uh, from Mumbai. Uh, Brijesh, uh, you have mentioned that what is critical illness cover? Should one buy it over and above his health uh, policy? That's a very uh, good question, Brijesh, because if you look at uh, the health policies uh, which are available in the market, there are huge uh, gamut of, like, I would say not less than 10 to 15 different kinds of uh, uh, health laws which would be available. And at time it can get uh, confusing. Now, if I have to give my uh, opinion on this as to how I would take a cover, what I would do is I would have a, a basic uh, cover uh, for, uh, let's say, in our case, it's a health card cover, which is a uh, hospitalization cover, and I will take that cover for Two lakh rupees because uh, for any normal hospitalization which I may have, uh, uh, that would take care uh, for about one and a half lakh rupees. Then on top of it, I'll actually look for a surgical cover uh, to the tune of about uh, ten lakh rupees uh, because the cost of the surgical cover is lower than the health card, and it will cover about six hundred surgeries uh, which would be there at different uh, levels. And again, it's it's like a uh, when, when a surgery is to be uh, taking place, uh, the sum insured uh, is which can get paid to hospitals directly and is cashless and is renewable for life. 
On top of that, take a critical illness uh, cover for the 16 uh, major illnesses which would be there. If a person critical illness, the way the cover triggers is that if a person survives after detection for a month, then the entire sum insurance is paid and that can go up to 50 lakh rupees. And if, if, if I have a major illness, be it cancer, which will require a lot of money, and I get that money, I can get myself treated anywhere in the world, though I would strongly recommend India because I see that the Indian doctors and in hospitals are really world class now, and I see a lot of foreigners coming to India for uh, treatment. So this would be the cover I'll take on pure health. I'd also add uh, hospital cash on top of it. Uh, hospital cash typically is a per day uh, allowance policy. So if I admit it for 10 days, and if I take in a 1500 per day cover, I get 15,000 rupees irrespective of bills. That is for my incidental expenses. So that is the way I would uh, structure my uh, policy in terms of taking health cover. So it, uh, and it will be optimizing the cost and it also will be providing me a very comprehensive cover. So I would strongly recommend that you should uh, take a critical illness cover even if you have a health policy because those are major illnesses which cost a lot of money for good treatment. Uh, next is Vishal from Pune. He says, uh, should we have accident insurance when you already have a health insurance and cover? I'm happy Vishal that you already have a health insurance top of cover. This is very good. Uh, but the interesting part is, if I look at most of our accident insurance, they don't have uh, health cover. Now, accident insurance uh, covers a different um, uh, requirement. Uh, one, the premium is very, very low for accident insurance, just to give an idea. For a one lakh cover and a pure death uh, only cover of accident insurance, it will be just about 45 rupees for a year. Now, is that cheap? But the issue with accident insurance is that uh, what is not covered in health is it is a roadside. If I'm driving on the road and I need an accident, and I, I have a permanent disablement or if I die uh, due to accident, uh, then the entire premium uh, or, or the sum insured which I have opted for gets paid. And in fact, it gets paid faster than any other uh, policy that I have because the only requirement for, is a, for that is a post-mortem report. So in about seven days or eight days, money gets paid. And that would be some relief to my family, uh, which would be immediately coming up. So in a way, accident insurance is different from the health uh, insurance which is there and that is why one should have that. In fact, you should take a very good cover of it. I recommend it for all my people and all my customers whom I meet because if I look at it from perspective that yeah, if something goes wrong. At, at my age, I think the probability of an accident is higher than anything else and that would uh, be a relief to my family immediately. Uh, before I move to the uh, next one, I would uh, uh, request if uh, uh, Sachin, you have any question from your side to ask us as an advisor to our yeah. customer? So the new products that we have coming up with, uh, <coughs> the new products that we have coming the new special testing, I think that's a good option. Uh, it can be an add on, it could be a top up for any other policy that people may have with us, or any other insurance. So it comes at a good price. I think people should go in for that. Okay. Yeah, fair. I and mean, I'm happy to see Sachin that you also find because you do a comparison of different companies and you rate those products good. Uh, I would also like to move to Dr. Uh, uh, Mr. Bome Bote. What is your opinion, uh, Mr. Bote? Are the insurance companies uh, playing the adequate role or they should do something more uh, which they are missing out from a customer perspective that you would be noticing since you run such a magnificent hospital? Yeah, I put it this way, uh, again, I'm not being personal about any individual company or my general opinion is there is a tremendous scope of improvement and reduction in the cost of treatment possible if the insurance companies process the documentation more efficiently. Uh, I'm glad to say this does not apply to Bajaj Alliance. They have been outstandingly efficient and benchmark standards of uh, documentation. Yes, I agree. But if you look at most of the other insurance companies, claims don't get settled fast, patients need to overstay, charges get inflated, and the pricing of the entire package goes up. All of it is purely due to inefficiency in documentation. Now, that is one area if the insurance companies can concentrate on 
there is no reason why when I do a banking transaction, I do it online with my bank. Why can't a hospital and an insurance company have an online transaction? Now, typically, I'll put it this way. When a claim is sent out, say at 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock in the evening, for a surgery the next day, invariably the approval does not come. The surgery gets delayed. The patient has to overstay. His bill goes up, his claim goes up, everything goes up. I'll tell you, we, we, we our major dissatisfaction of our customers normally occur when they are discharged and have to go home from an insurance uh, uh, company. If they are, they are, they're based on MediClaim. Their maximum dis displeasure comes only when they have to go home. Because the whole process is so, so laborious, so tedious, can't we find a better and a more transparent way of settling things and getting a patient to go home satisfied? Mr. Good, I'm so happy to have you today. No, honestly, I think all the statements you made is exceptional, and this is an eye opener for the entire industry. I hope, uh, and I am sure that's in a tipping of the tip to all the CEOs. In fact, I next always time. tell these insurance companies your claims, if you are more efficient, can come down by at least 15 to 20 percent. If you are more efficient in your compensation process, there is no reason why your entire claim should not come down by at least 15 percent. Yes, Mr. Bhutta, and at the end of the day, this inefficiency has to be paid by the common man on the street. So it's shameful that no, this is where it is. And I'm so happy that you have brought this to the front. It's a very burning question. And I'd also like to ask Rama and Suresh, because I think in our company, one of the endeavors has been to ensure that the documentation is uh, minimal and the speed is passed. The team has been telling me that they're reaching this online status that you're asking for. Uh, Rama, what are you doing on this? Because I think uh, Mr. Bhutta is a very relevant point. And because the inefficiency of insurance company, the common man should not be paying for it. No, so this is something which we should as industry also. And I like to hear your view as yeah. what are you doing for taking this? Uh, sure, sir. I think uh, as we said in the initial stage itself, uh, for us the, the customer satisfaction is a, a paramount uh, thing for us. Even today, if you look at uh, the regulator, the regulator has given nearly uh, 14 days of time for settlement of claims. But our average turnaround time for settlement of claims is between eight to nine days which is one of the best that we see. It's not that we want to rest on that, those laurels. We are trying to keep on improving our processes to see that how fast we can uh, reduce the turnaround time. One of the new things that we have uh, come across in the last uh, six months which we have initiated is the image-based claim settlement where the papers don't necessarily have to travel from, let's say, from one city to the Pune headquarters where all the claims are being settled. We are trying to ensure that all image based paperwork comes to the claims team, they do the processing and that has actually helped us save at least three days of time to ensure that we are able to have a faster settlement of claims. So this is one of the initiatives that we have done last year. Sounds good, huh? I am still uh, dissatisfied. Just because uh, we are better then uh, competition does not mean we have reached there. I want to read the status where Mr. Bote has mentioned it Stop. should like the transaction is across. No? Can I interrupt for a minute? Yeah. Yes, please. If you don't mind. No, no, Mr. Bote, we welcome it. You take a clue from the bank. <laughs> take a clue from a credit card the way a transaction takes place. Their volumes are 100 times more than what you are handling. But look at the efficiency with which it functions today. You swipe a credit card, you get an SMS immediately telling you what's happened. Now come back to your insurance sector. If I have a policy for 2 lakhs of rupees, I undergo a surgery, I get an approval for 20,000. Again, my work stops because 20,000 has run out. Then I again put up an approval for another 50,000. Again, I get an approval for 30,000. So in the process now, if a person needs to undergo say a bypass surgery, he ends up with approvals three to four times during his stay. Now everybody knows that a bypass surgery is going to cost you so much. I'm only using bypass as an example. Why should we have stage by stage approval? Don't forget every time you run out of credit, procedure stops, work stops, treatment stops. 
and it starts again once the approval comes. Now what is happening is the patient's stay is getting prolonged, his expense is getting inflated and again let me tell you the largest level of dissatisfaction if a patient in a hospital, any hospital around India is a medical patient. Like I said, he goes through trauma when he gets discharged. Can we not have a system of making it easier? Why can't we all have, I'll give you an example, why can't all the insurance companies have one template which is used by everybody? Every insurance company has a different template. Can we, why can't we have a paperless system of doing functioning approvals? These are, I think there's tremendous amount of opportunity available for improvement and all these improvements are going to end up in the cost coming down for the customer, a cost coming down for the patient and satisfaction of the patient which we are all working here for. Mr. Bhutta, I would like to add one more thing to what you just said. Uh, I think it's also a product which has to be you know, on that basis. In fact, that is why if I look at recently, and it's exactly what I had in mind, uh, we have come up with a surgical uh, protection uh, tower. I must congratulate you. I got it yesterday, and I think it is on the right track and absolutely correct. Now, only one thing you need to do is when you come out on a surgical package, you need to differentiate and fix a percentage, what would be the professional fee and what would be the hospital element or the other. That is one thing that you need to still fix it. Because what is going exactly. to happen, otherwise people are going to charge over and above that separately. Yeah. Exactly, Mr. Bhutan. That is why you know, the issue that you have a partial uh, approval disappears in this because the entire uninsured can get paid and the customer and the hospital are aware of what the cover is and they can get the best of what cover. Your point taken and though as Rama said we have moved on from paper into image based but I love the idea you mentioned about the industry coming up with common uh, documents. Uh, being an active member of the uh, council of general insurance, in fact I will talk to the secondary general also and ensure in the next meeting or the meeting which is convenient for both the council and you, I like you to speak on these points uh, to the CEOs of uh, the industry and as I said I also ensure that your message is sent to uh, all of them. Because very relevant and I think very good points put in forward by you. Uh, as I told uh, for my team, though they beat the market by hours and days in terms of service parameters, but we want to reach a place, though it will not be as easy as credit card because there will be some requirement of understanding. Uh, because the credit card, the basics is known earlier. We have reached very close to that, is what my belief is. And good for putting this benchmark. And I promise to you and all my customers, we shall push our limits to reach to that stage where the customer really enjoys the experience of having a health cover from Brazilians. Thank you very much. I now move on to Aparna because I think Aparna, the way you have been uh, looking at uh, the industry and seen the progress and you have seen the status where let us say about 8-10 years back, it was so difficult even to get a health cover or a treatment from the hospital and to a scenario where the industry is moving forward but like uh, Mr. Bhutta said, so a lot to be done. What are your expectations? What is your feel uh, with interaction of uh, the entire body of regulator, insurance company and customers? What is you that you feel that the industry should be looking at? I think uh, at first uh, because of rising medical inflation, I think customer segmentation is a step in the right direction. I mean, you know, claims management will also be better for the HNI, for the uh, low income group, for the middle. Some of it is already happening. Of course, uh, specific products. And more importantly, you know, at the, uh, I won't, uh, you know, at the entry in terms of using more social media, you know, because uh, medical emergencies, as I said earlier, come unannounced. So, how to handle uh, that, you know, at that time you search for your card. You know, uh, even if your card is misplaced, you can go to the call. You can call the call center, and you know, do so. These kind of little little things, you know, because people nowadays, I mean, Facebook on an average, a person in India sees it for nine hours a, a week, which is like more than an hour a day. So you know, you could use these kind of applications, Facebook and other things, you know, to uh, demystify a lot of uh, elements in health insurance. I think more actively, uh, I'm talking of course from more from the reader, from the customer perspective. 
Yes, sir. But I think you raised very relevant points. In terms of how small things can make a huge difference. Suresh, are you looking at some of the things what uh, Aparna mentioned? We are very impressed by our statement in terms of what, how small things can actually make a big difference to the customers from a health interest perspective. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you, Aparna, for this uh, uh, this feedback. I think we are already working on this, and uh, we always like what I said earlier. We believed in uh, not just delighting the customer, but connecting with him all throughout and engaging with him. Now, what we have done is based on the feedback what we have been receiving, uh, we realized that there is a need. The customer has kind of issue when he uh, visits the hospital, and sometimes his needs uh, maybe in a condition where uh, in an emergency, where his family member would be taking care of the admission procedure. What we thought that we will try to bring in the first change, small change. What we brought in, uh, brought in was introducing that uh, attendees details in the pre-authorization form, whereby the mobile number and other details are captured at the policy level or at, at least at the claim admission level, and hence the details can be sent to that person or the SMS. Number two, what we are trying to bring in is now we are already working on this project where we have a card. You just swipe it, and that card will be available on your palm top or your on your smartphone or your mobile phone. So that is the level to which we are going to take, and it may not take much time. Maybe by the end of next year, we will be experiencing that thing. And we, as a uh, as Bajaj Alliance, would try to bring in that change first in the industry. It's almost uh, we are there now. I'd also like to speak, Suresh, on the wellness initiative we take because. One of the passion which I think the team has been working upon is that uh, not uh, when you uh, are admitted that uh, we are there for you. We are also there for you when you are good, healthy. We also ensure that you remain uh, good and healthy, and we make an endeavor for that. We want to take a relationship beyond just insurance uh, policy and claims. So, Suresh, can you talk about the wellness initiative that you initiated about the websites that you have? How people can take second opinion? How can they consult even dietitians for you no know, losing weight and I heard a lot of good success stories from my customers. Could you mention a bit about that also? Because I think that is something good that you and your team are doing. Sure, sir. So, like relationship, like what I've uh, been told about the relationship beyond insurance. Yes, uh, we are always we always believed that uh, it's only 10 percent or 19 percent customers who claim. So, what about the remaining 90 percent? So, that remaining 90 percent they don't experience. Any claim, or they don't visit any hospital, so they might go occasionally for a dental checkup, or for a, uh, uh, for uh, getting any specs, or for any health checkup, annual health checkup, or something which they pay out of their pocket. So we we always uh, believe that these are the customers who would like to experience our services, and when they visit any of this uh, hospital or our uh, tie-up centers, diagnostic centers. When they are spending a hundred rupee out of their pocket, they should benefit out of this uh, uh, transaction, and that is how we have introduced this value-added services, where we tie up with this uh, facilities and provide them huge discounts, starting from uh, going up to 40 percent and 50 percent. Uh, maybe many of our customers they are now started availing of uh, these facilities, and also pharmacy discounts which can go up to 30, 40 percent. And uh, this is something which even the existing customer and also our customers, the group customers, all the retail customers, even in, in our other lines, we are trying to propagate this. And we believe that uh, if the customer is healthy, his overall experience, his life in, throughout his life will be good. And also, as far as his insurance policy is concerned, the claims can be controlled. Thank you, Suresh. I'll just take a couple of questions on the screen and then uh, move back to the panel. Uh, I have Sam uh, from Delhi. Uh, he mentioned that surgical protection plan is a good cover as it can act as a top of cover on the existing policy. Please explain as to how you came up with this idea. The idea was simple, Sam. We as a company have to be uh, very customer focused and obsessed with the customer is what we have been thinking. When we looked at the normal health policies which are there, in the country, and we also looked that the, uh, the amount of uh, money uh, which is being spent on different illness, we realized that about 46% of the claims for the industry as a whole 
is uh, for uh, uh, viral, for gastroenteritis, for fever. And just about half of it is for surgeries. And then I was thinking about myself as a child. I never remember that me or my friends ever got admitted for viral or gastroenteritis. I think our mother's uh, 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 supervision and a doctor's uh, clinic visit was taking care of it. And I was thinking that if I'm a common person, I have to buy a health cover. What is it that I, and if I don't have enough uh, money uh, for the premium, what is the best cover that I would be looking for and why would I be buying a health cover? Then we realized it's for surgeries that a common person is actually looking for this cover. And that is how the idea came up. And uh, we thought, why don't we cover all the surgeries which would be there? Why don't we make the product simple that we have a sum insured which gets paid when the surgery is uh, triggered? And it's also renewable for life. And it's also the premium of this would be about half the cost of the normal cover which is there. That's how this idea came in because I think one thing, as I said, as a company, for us, every the customer, and we revolve around him or her to see what can we do more. So thank you for this question. And again, this project is very close to my heart, so I, I loved uh, to answer you on this. Uh, now, because the customer is everything, to get back to my uh, favorite customer and the customer's perspective. Uh, what is it, uh, uh, Mahal, you would be looking for as a customer of an insurance company in terms of a health cover or what are your greatest apprehensions, what are your greatest fear, and what do you think as insurance companies we should be addressing? Yeah, uh, one of the first thing uh, which I would like to say is uh, we are using the word demystifying the health insurance. Uh, but in reality what happens is uh, when a customer is looking for a health insurance, there are a lot of things he doesn't know. Uh, from a customer perspective, he thinks is when I take a health insurance, if something happens to me when I go to a hospital, everything would be taken care of. I don't have to look at anything. Uh, but if you see the process, as Dr. Bomi has uh, rightly said, uh, there is a lot of steps which happen, you know, when someone is actually in the hospital, a lot of approvals happen and it happens in the staggered manner. Uh, from a you know from a customer's perspective, if this thing can be uh, speedified, then it will be better for the customer. Uh, the other thing which I saw is uh, a lot of controversy has been happening uh, in the cashless facility. If I'm not wrong, uh, you know last year uh, there was a lot of news. Many of the hospitals have uh, actually stopped the cashless facility. Now uh, this is something you know which uh, uh, you know. Uh, insurance companies have to look into uh, because it's not possible every time for people to actually pay out uh, from their pocket and then go for the claim okay uh, for example what happened in my case is uh, when my mom was admitted uh, in the Aditya Birla hospital uh, I paid everything through my credit card and uh, later on uh, through uh, my advisor Mr. Sachin I had gone for the claim. Now every person would not be paying through a credit card and uh, I, I also do not know whether you know currently uh, Aditya Birla is under the cashless facility or not. So these informations which are there is something uh, you know which is missing from the customer perspective. So as a customer he'll be looking at you know this basic information if something happens and if he's the earning member of the family and he's going to the hospital his relatives should not run around on you know knowing the process and all I'll give you one simple example even today in many of the hospital they want a Xerox copy of the uh, uh, you know the insurance card which is there uh, that's a very stupid thing why do you need that I have an insurance card the number everything details is that why do you need a Xerox copy? You know, so the uh, uh, simple things like this, you know, the relatives have to run around for the process and all. So as Dr. Bomi rightly said, the entire process should be smooth enough so that the customer doesn't have to think about anything. This is what a health insurance is all about, is what the customer is looking at. So uh, this is my opinion how it should be. No, thank you for your input, uh, uh, I think that exactly what has to be a seamless experience for the customer, otherwise it does not uh, work. Uh, one small statement on which I was very proud about, I think when you saw the newspaper article of a lot of hospitals withdrawing cashless from insurance companies, uh, your company, Bajaj Alliance, was one of the rare companies where every hospital had allowed cashless. I think the most recently from the perspective that about the payment time to the hospital, about the approval time to the hospital. I think that was one of the key issues which was there. And uh, the company has again, Mr. Bote mentioned that yes, we are there and hospitals 
like our speed of payment to them when we approve uh, cashless. But again, uh, what I mis mentioned Mr. Bote that we still have a long way to go from our customer's expectation. And your expectation of the customer is right. For you, it should be seamless. If you're insured with uh, Bajaj Alliance or with any insurance company and you go to the hospital, there should be no hassle. If you have the last thing which you want to do when you're ill or you're going for any surgery and is the hassle of trying to figure out how to get the claim or how to get uh, cash on, uh, that is one area which we have to take forward. But to be fair to the industry, if you look at the entire health uh, portfolio, uh, most of will be surprised that health insurance in India is one of the late entrants. It started somewhere in um, 88, if I remember right, 86, 88, and then actually triggered out well in the year 2003, 4 when started picking up, and the past five, six years, moving well. And as Aparna mentioned, right from the regulator, they are looking at how they, they categorize and what uh, Mr. Bote mentioned, how do we have simple forms, how the agreement gets uh, proper. But the speed, I think, has to improve uh, to reach where you have mentioned. Uh, still a long way for the industry to go, but I think uh, my commitment again as a CEO of one of the insurance companies in India is that we should push this. Because to me, I believe for any other accident, it is still fine. The emotional trauma is not to that level. It's a physical asset, which okay, in a couple of days, it will still get better. But when a person is ill, when a person is in hospital, the emotional trauma is much, much higher. That is the place where the insurance industry should demonstrate the best of services. So I think that we have to reach there. And thank you for giving us the customer perspective that makes a focus. Add one point. Uh, yes. I'd like to add one point. Yes, Abhanna. Yeah, I mean, you talked about, I think the other thing that insurance companies can tell customers is, you know, you have an option of hospitals because what happens many times everyone flocks to the best hospital in town. I'm not naming, but uh, I mean, from my own experience, I knew when my dad had a fracture, the doctor there said the orthopedic, I go to this hospital as well, you can come. So it was a little thing and you know, but that made a huge difference because good, uh, the ultimate the thing is to have a good doctor who treats, that's the key. And good doctors have multiple practices, so you know you should. You can also tell customers depending on their pockets and the kind of policy. You know that you have a. You know you don't have to go to A or B. There is a range of hospitals uh, depending on your requirements. You know, and doctors do. I mean, you know, practice across hospitals. Good doctors, especially, have practices across multiple hospitals and clinics. I think that gives a good idea. But I was working on the team to develop an application which can be downloaded on a smartphone in which when a person if falls ill or has an accident and it triggers the application, he can know which are the hospitals close by where they can have cash tests. But your point of the doctors which would be there in those hospitals, the panel, I think somewhere we should add that option also because that would be a bit intensive but that will also give a comfort you know exactly which doctors are in which hospitals which is closest to you and where we have cash tests because that is something which you keep on expanding and the customer should have you know, right at the moment uh, uh, information on that. So that's a good point and we shall definitely get all this incorporated uh, for ease of customer. I think uh, uh, today I have a very good panel and a lot of relevant issues are coming up to the front. I move back to my uh, friends from uh, Twitter and, uh, uh, and Facebook and those who are writing straight to me. Uh, we have Harsh them from Pune. You have a unique product called Women Critical Illness. Why is it not marketed aggressively? Ashwadam, you have said it right. I think one thing which uh, we have also been trying to do is, uh, from a, a woman perspective, we have been trying to take our specific policies and see what are the issues that we can help, uh, right from a road safety uh, product add-on that we have been giving with our uh, automobile policy, where you can fly from a tire burst to loss of fuel or battery counting out, the lady has not to get a car, she just sit and call uh, our people and they are there to change that, you know, taking it beyond insurance. This woman critical illness policy we got very early for women specific uh, diseases. Uh, but uh, there has been a good sale, I am not saying it is not good, but not up to the level. So I take your point and I also make sure that we run campaigns very aggressively to promote this because I believe again it is a very good product that we have. Uh, uh, Shushma, how many times your income should be for health insurance? Example, if I earn 6 lakh per annum, my health insurance should be at least be how much? Shushma, income and health insurance uh, relation is not there. The relation is on illness. So let us say if I have cancer, it's going to cost me minimum 25-30 lakh rupees 
if I am going to have a normal surgery, how much would it cost? And that is how you structure the uh, health cover, as I mentioned at the beginning of uh, the hangout. If I actually look at it, uh, just to give you a perspective of the cost, uh, let us say if I take a health guard for about uh, 2 lakh rupees, uh, 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 a surgical protection for about 10 lakhs and a criticalness for about uh, 20 lakhs on top of it. The entire cost of all this put together uh, for a person of about 30 years would not be more than uh, 10,000 rupees a year, Rama. Something like that. Yeah, about 10,000 rupees a year, which if I uh, translate to per month is less than about 800 rupees and if I translate to per day you can actually see it will be less than the snacks and tea that we have. But for just that kind of premium we are protected for the entire spectrum of illness and if something goes wrong it is just there that nothing wipes out our saving or create that stress among our family members as to how do we get the money. So everything else I have seen people know still would like to negotiate get the best bargain. In fact we as Indians are known to be good bargain hunters. So, you know, uh, there's this popular joke which also went when some person was bargaining at the road and this guy got irritated and said, take it free. Uh, then the person said, why not give me two then? So, something like that. But when it comes to health, I don't see any bargaining. That point of time, people are ready to pay out the best for the treatment that is there for the loved ones. And that is why it's very essential to have the good range of cover. So, unlike a personal accident cover, this is not linked to your uh, salary. I would recommend that you have it. Any issues you can approach any of our advisors or write to us. We'll be very happy to tell you how to structure your health cover. Uh, there is one from uh, Harshwagan again. Please discuss why group health policy offered by employees is not sufficient alternative to individual standard on health policy. Now I want to take this. Yeah. I think one of the uh, things that we need to look at in case of a group health policy is that if you were to change your employer, the chances of you being out of cover for a maybe temporary period of time is going to be high. And if during the intervening period, if you are going to have any illness or accident or any other major surgery, you will not be protected. So it is always been in your own interest to ensure that you have a cover which is not fully dependent upon your employer. We have seen many cases where there have been gap in cover and uh, people had to shell out a lot of money for you know, covering their exp uh, medical expenses. So I would not ideally suggest that this is the right way. It is always ideal to have a small cover maybe of 2 lakh, uh, 2 lakh rupees or 3 lakh rupees which can actually take care of these kind of emergencies which could come anytime without you really knowing about it. So that's where uh, it, it won't work if you don't have an individual cover separately. Um, I gave you an interesting question which come from Manobala. Yeah. Uh, as you mentioned, can I take two health insurance policies? How will I make a claim in that scenario? I think that would be then the top of mind of most of my customers. Would you like to take that? Yeah. Actually, uh, if, if it is being taken from the same insurance company, it is not going to make much of a difference. But if you uh, if are going to have two health policies with different insurance companies, the principle of contribution will apply. Which, which means that only to the, the claim will be severed on each company to end of the sum insured that is covered by them. It could become a bit more complicated. Uh, the better idea would be if we can actually have a, a cover for standard health cover and then there is a top-up cover or there is a surgical protection cover which can actually t increase the overall coverage and lead to less complication. There is one uh, from Professor uh, Matuknath. Uh, what are the stress guidelines has taken to ensure that the mis-selling is reduced? Uh, that is a very good uh, question, uh, Professor. I think uh, typically in general insurance as a whole, uh, the chances of mis-selling is lower because the products are simpler and uh, you are aware about it. In health, the biggest uh, mis-selling, uh, if I may use the word so, uh, happens because of the concept of pre-existing disease. I think at times the customers are not aware that the pre aging disease is not good and they take a health cover and immediately after that in a couple of months time uh, they are admitted and obviously that triggers that loss. So if I have to rate dissatisfaction on customers uh, or dissatisfied customers, 95% would be because of this pre existing uh, clause which is there in the insurance company's uh, contract. Now uh, typically as a customer one thing that we if we take care is that we understand that the illness which is already there would not get covered by any uh, insurance company as such uh, and that is something which should be excluded. And they have a waiting period, some have two years, some have four years 
and in that if some MS has got developed or has been there and you declare in the proposal form, then there will not be an issue. So the proposal form or the contract, the basis of contract which is to be filled up by the customer. If as a customer we ask the agent that that is something which we shall fill up on our own and sign that document and where we have declared all the material facts, then the policy of the cut is given and provided to you and ensure that you are fully aware of what is covered what is not covered. So on our side, when we have a case of mis-selling, uh, we take it up very strongly with our uh, advisors. But again, I would say I am lucky if I look at the number of grievances that we have as a company among the least among the industry and the chances of mis-selling by my advisor are less, but still there. But we find out one case, uh, it is sure that our senior team members speak to the advisors and speak to the customer and ensure that this is not uh, happening. But as I said in health, the only chance of mis-selling or lack of information is on the uh, pre-existing diseases. Rest, I think, uh, the, uh, it has been a clear case that customer aware uh, what is happening. But a good question, uh, Professor. Uh, I see we are running out of uh, time now, though this is one topic which we could talk about the whole day. Any last question from the panel before we thank everybody and move on? Uh, in the uh, urban area as cities, it's uh, pretty much good. Uh, but when you go into the rural area where actually the need of health insurance is more, uh, is something which is, is still lagging behind. We would like to know your plans, how you actually plan to, you know, cater the people around in the rural area basically. Uh, that again, uh, is a, I would say it's one of the uh, preview to the new product that we are designing. See, rural area, one thing we have seen is okay for uh, minor illness or for uh, small surgeries, uh, we have uh, reasonably okay infrastructure. But where the customer actually requires very good healthcare, they have to move to the cities and uh, be taken to some of the good hospitals and that has to be done fast. We are actually thinking of our product as to how do we ensure that the transportation cost, or uh, maybe somebody is in, in places like the Northeast, if the transportation is let us say even by uh, moving him by uh, an aircraft or something to the nearest best hospital or from the rural side to the city, uh, how do we build that product and how do we take it? Because to me, the issue is not about just providing some health cover in the rural side. It is about providing the best of health cover to all my customers. And that is one product we are working on, uh, uh, Frederick Wine. So I am perfectly fine to share while working on because I want every uh, insurance company in the industry to think about how do we cater to this issue and how do we come with products. I always say there is no competition in the field of insurance because the penetration of insurance in India is very low. It is about 0.7879, one of the lowest in the world. In fact, to be surprised that even countries like uh, uh, Malaysia and Indonesia would be doing uh, better than us in terms of uh, penetration. So we have enough uh, scope to do a lot of things, enough scope to focus on customers, come up with good products which cater to these issues uh, for the customer. So thank you very much. And I'd like to thank uh, my panel. I think we had an amazing discussion and very good inputs. And as a company, it's our endeavor and our commitment that we shall be uh, taking your feedback uh, very seriously. And to all my uh, friends on the Twitter and Facebook who sent in the queries uh, across, uh, we'll be ensuring that we take it all in. And this should be our guiding principle in terms of how do we uh, look at health insurance and going forward. Uh, thank you very much for your time. And it was a pleasure interacting with all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.